Hi ladies, welcome to my hot summer water marble with water marble tip 2 accent nail. I'm starting with a coat of OPI Alpine Snow on all the nails. These are the polishes that I'm using, a combination of Oli and OPI, Neons and Baked Collection and the Sally Hansen. I tried about 15 polishes, none of them would work and actually these ones don't really work too well so you know in the past I've said that Ollie and OPI are my favorite water marble polishes they they always prove me wrong there are always exceptions to every rule these didn't work very well but I persevered I'm not as happy with the result as some water marbles that I have done before but I'm gonna leave it for a day or two because it's not that big of a deal. It's not like I have gel coat on them to make them stay for two weeks. I don't have to tolerate them for that long. You might notice I got me two pink polishes next to each other there and had to swap them over. So there's a mistake on the first nail. As always, I use a Dixie cup with boiled, cooled, room temperature water. I'm doing the accent nail first and I have applied a small piece of parcel tape over the nail to mask off the section that I don't want to get polish on. I cut a rounded edge on it to give it a nice rounded kind of shape rather than just a straight piece of parcel tape. It's up to you, you don't have to cut it to shape but I wanted it to follow the natural shape of my nail. I really like how just the tip being marbled came out. I might try that with all the nails. It does look really nice and the white against the neons give a real good pop of colour. I know that I have not perfected the technique of video tutorials yet and thank you for being my guinea pigs and watching them and seeing that they're good. I know they lack finesse, shall we say, and they need improvement. See with these polishes, I'm having, I'm having to break the tension of the water by running my tool around the surface of the water to get them to spread. It just would not work well for me last night. And I couldn't use all of the neons because some of them weren't spreading at all. Some of them had glitters in and couldn't, couldn't just wouldn't spread. So uh, I've ended up with what's there after a couple of hours of wasted time. Ladies see these pictures of beautiful water marble nails and very rarely was it just one nail getting dipped into a water and everything worked. Certainly not for me anyway. I'm removing the excess polish from around my nail with a Q-tip or cotton bud dipped in acetone because that's the way that I like to do it after having ruined several water marbles by removing tape. Now I just don't tape. That's entirely up to you. As a beginner it may be better if you tape around your nails. Just until you become more confident with the technique. These are really pretty colours and I do wish that you know them working together had they had spread better and be more cooperative. As I like to say, my polishes are being a dick. And what you can't see is behind the camera nine bottles of polish that wouldn't work. Six Dixie cups already in the bin. A gigantic pile of used Q-tips 
and nails that have been completely removed twice already. So, you know, looking at a picture of a fabulous water marble, the story behind that water marble might go somewhat like this. I really, I don't like it when people refer to me as a pro, you know, water marble queen and all of that. I feel really uncomfortable because I know the process that it took to get me to that stage. And sometimes I might have been working three or four hours to get a decent water marble. I was offered a job in a salon creating these kind of nails. She also wanted me to go to school and get qualified for acrylics and gel extensions. And all I could visualize in my head was like, oh my God, five, six hours putting false nails on and then doing a water marble, which rarely works the first time around, or hand painting something like that rabbit I did or the frog. I would maybe get one client done in a day. That's not financially feasible for any, any salon owner. So I turned her down. Maybe I could go to salons and teach them how to do water marble. <laughs> I don't think that would go very well either. But you know, I will continue to do my nails and try to do video tutorials and improve. See this one, the, the pink outer ring dried really fast so the rest wouldn't spread. You can actually get a pretty good shot of underneath my nails there. There must be 10 or 12 layers of polish nail envy water marbles underneath there it's the only reason my nails get so long is because the entire surface of them is completely protected by several layers of polish now some people might not be able to tolerate that and i know after a certain length of time i will take q-tips on a brush and clean underneath my nails and really have a good a good clean um, toothbrushes, the lot, and start from scratch. But whenever I'm putting my base coat of nail and beyond, I put a coat underneath the tips. It was a, it was a tip that I learned many years ago from the beauty presenter on QVC when she was selling QVC um, nail envy on QVC and I've always done it and my nails do get very long as you know unfortunately I've taken that to the next level and I just let several layers of polish build up on the backs of my nails but you know it works for me and keeps my nails really long and protected I am not in any way promoting that that's what anyone else should do. They do actually look disgusting. Clean off that polish. I'm definitely going to do a tutorial of white nails with water marble tips because I do think that looks really pretty and would be really effective as a full manicure with maybe one whole nail, accent nail, water marble and all the rest as tips. Here we go with the clean up, the brush and the acetone. It's quite actually difficult to try to remember to keep my fingers in sight of the camera all the time. And I still don't think I've perfected that part of things. But I'll keep trying because I know that you like to watch them. Tutorials are such fun. And of course I compare myself to all the people that have been doing them for a long time. And know how to work 
really complicated video editing suites. I don't know how to do those. I just get frustrated and angry and end up losing my video. But I will keep trying. Because like with nails, a year ago, a year ago I couldn't do water models. A year ago I couldn't hand paint a rabbit or a frog. But I just kept trying. As always, sesh feet for the top coat. I really would like to try that HK girl because I hear a lot of people raving about how good that is, and I know that sesh feet does have shrinkage issues. There we go. Put some water. 